this is how to use the Flutter Block package with Flutter. And this is the Flutter pizza application we will create with Block. The first thing we need is inside the popspec.yalm. We will need to add under the dependencies the Flutter Block and the Equitable package. This one will be used to compare the states of the Flutter Block. We also need to add the image folder inside the assets. Now you can run Flutter pop get and next is to create an image folder with the pizza pepperoni and the pizza image. After we will create a model folder and inside we will have the pizza model dart file. I also want to tell you that we have a new advanced Flutter course. All the information is in the description but more on this later. For the pizza model we import the material dart and we create the class pizza. This one will have an ID, a name and an image. With this we can create the named constructor and add the equitable package. We can now extend the pizza class with the equitable and to use it we just have to overwrite get the props with a list of ID name and image. This will be used to compare the state of the block later. Inside this pizza class we will also create a list of pizza. The first pizza inside the list will have an ID 0, name pizza and image pizza. The next one will have the ID 1, the name pizza pepperoni and the image pizza pepperoni. The pizza model is now completed. After you will need to go inside your extension and add the block extension. We will go back inside our file and we will create under the library a new block. This one will be called pizza and I will press enter. And this is why we use the extension block because this will create everything for us. We will start working on the state, then the event and finally on the block.dart. So let's go in the pizza state right now. First, I need to give you a visual explanation of what will happen. We will have two states, one to initialize the block app, call it the pizza initial, and one to display the pizza counter. This one will be called the pizza loaded. And we will have also three events. The first one is called load pizza counter and it's to change the state from the pizza initiate to the pizza loaded. The second event is called add pizza and it's to add a pizza on the screen. And the third event is called remove pizza. The first state will be the pizza initial and then we will create another state called pizza loaded. This one will have access to the list of pizza, which is the pizza and the pizza pepperoni. And we create the named constructor that required the list of pizza. We also need to create the override get prop because of the equitable package. If you don't do this, block will not be able to compare the states. Now we can go over pizza and we can quick fix and import the pizza model. The import is not available in this file, but in the pizza block. For the pizza event.dart file, we will create three events. The first one is the load pizza counter. The second one is to add a pizza and the third one is to remove a pizza and they all extend the pizza event. For the add pizza we will create a final pizza with a constructor and the add override get props from the equitable package and even the auto generated code from the block extension use the equitable package. The remove pizza will be just the same. We have the pizza and the constructor with the override get props from the equitable package. As a reminder this will be used to compare the state of the block. Einstein said one day, if you like the teaching style, please like, but don't subscribe. Now we are ready to work on the pizza block.dart. In the pizza event.dart file, we have created three different events, and these are the one that we will use. Instead, we will say on load pizza counter, which is the first event we have created, the on add pizza, and the on remove pizza. These are the three events we have created earlier. When we will start the application, the first First event will be the load pizza counter. This one inside will have an await. Then we will use the future that delay to wait for one second. And then we will emit a new state, which is the pizza loaded. Inside we give an empty list of pizza. Okay, so in more simple words, this is what happened. When we start the application, the pizza initial state is triggered. Then the load pizza counter event will start. Then we'll emit a new state, and this new state will be the pizza loaded. In this example, we only have two states, the pizza initialized and the pizza loaded. But you could have a third state to display an error page in the screen when you have one. Now for the add pizza event, we will say if the state is pizza loaded, then we will create a final state and this one will be equal to this.state as a pizza loaded. We will need to use the state inside the next step. We can now emit a new state and this one will be the pizza loaded, but we will change the pizza list inside. We will use the previous list of pizza by using the state and we will add an event 
pizza. In other words, this will create a new state and add a pizza in the screen. Now we will do the same thing, but for the remove pizza. So when the remove pizza event is triggered, this is what will happen. Again, we use the same logic as the add pizza. We say if the state is a pizza load, then we create a final state equal to state as a pizza loaded. We will then emit a new state. This new state will still be a pizza load, but the list of pizza inside will be different. We will use the previous list of pizza and we will remove one pizza. It's now time to use the blog by creating a UI. My friend Musk thinks you should know these four things to become a Flutter advanced developer. And you can find free previews of these topics on fluttermap.com. This is actually the best advanced Flutter course in the world. You can verify by yourself. All the information is in the description. Inside the main.dart file, I will wrap the material app with the multi-block provider. The argument provider will need a list of provider. And inside we will use the block provider. This one need a create argument to create a provider. We then use the context to return the pizza block that we have created in this video. And as soon as we create this pizza block, we will create also an event, which will be the load pizza counter event. If you remember, this event will trigger the pizza loaded state. Inside the center of the body, we will create a child called the block builder. This one need a block, which is the pizza block, and a state, which is the pizza state. We need also to create a builder argument. Inside we have the context and the state. And we will create conditions. So if the state is the pizza initialize, which is the first state triggered by the pizza block, then we will return a circular progress indicator. If the state is the pizza loaded, then we will return a column. Inside we will have a text and we will use the state dot list of pizza dot length. This will show us how many pizza is there on the screen. And we give a style for the text. After we create a sized box and another one that will stack the list of pizza. To create the children, which is all the pizza, we will create a for loop that will generate the number of pizza from the state list of pizza. And every widget will be a positioned widget with the image of every pizza in the list. In the condition, we also have a else that will return a text something went wrong. And this will be display if it's neither one of the two state. We can now create our floating action button. And when we press on the button, this is how we can add pizza into the screen. We first use the context to read the pizza block. And then we add an event. The event will be add pizza. Inside, we just give the pizza that we want to add. In this case, it's the normal pizza. We can do the same thing to delete the pizza, but this time we use the event remove pizza and we remove the same one. But if you want to add the pepperoni pizza, you will need to use the event add pizza, but this time inside you put the pepperoni pizza. And finally, to delete the pepperoni pizza, you will remove the pizza, which is the pepperoni one. In this example, we have used the block builder, which is the most simple. But if you want to know about block provider, listener, and consumer, you can check the complete Flutter blog tutorial on the channel Max on Flutter. We also create end-to-end -end app development always using block. This Flutter blog example was actually made by Max on Flutter, and I do think it's a great channel. So to learn more about block, you can click on this video. That's it for this one, bye.